real cases before a real judge. Plaintiff Carrie Patnode lives in the same complex as the defendant, and she is known for calling the police on the neighbors and carrying a taser. Carrie claims she had previous run-ins with the defendant and her dog, and during the last incident, the defendant's dog attacked her dog and broke his leg, so she's suing. Defendant Mary Fisher says she only calls the police to protect her and her neighbors from drug dealers. Mary admits that her dog got into an altercation with Carrie's dog and is countersuing for emotional distress and slander. Start with you. Your Honor, Mary and I live in the same complex and she is known for her outrageous behaviors. She carries a taser around the neighborhood in case dogs attack her dog. She sets up spikes along the sidewalk. Your Honor. Let her finish. In case, um, so nobody will go into her yard and it does not belong to her. It's not her yard, it's an association yard. And cyclists have flipped their bikes and popped their tires in the past. And the only reason she removed it is because the association fined her and told her to. She has falsely had neighbors raided for drugs. She calls the police constantly. And because of her outrageous behaviors, on August 27, 2011, my dog, Teddy. Okay, let me allow her to give some background before we get into the vet bills and the incident. Yes, Yes, Your Honor, um, I'm heartbroken about this whole situation. And uh, first of all, I have never set any kind of spikes for anyone. Do you call the police frequently on your neighbors? Yes, I do call the police to protect our neighborhood from uh, drug dealers. And no, she says you call them on the neighbors. Your neighbors, all of my drug dealers, you we, live in a drug no, neighborhood? No, not all of our, no. You need to move. We've had several drug dealers. That's why she can't pay you, ma'am. She doesn't have any money. That's why she's living in the drug-infested neighborhood. No, I do not all see right. any drug transaction going on okay. over there. Well, she says she does. How far does she live from you? She lives about two blocks away move from Move down my... there by her. Didn't you, want, <laughs> didn't you want to have so many drugs going on in your community? Our whole complex has had a problem with drugs. I've That's why working... I say, move down there with her. <laughs> And she that don't is not have true, Your Honor. I, I have friends that stay up by her, and there is no drugs going on. Plaintiff Carrie Patnode is suing her neighbor because she claims the defendant's dog attacked her dog and broke her dog's leg. Go ahead, man. You I've call been the police working with all the, the police, time. I've been working with the police department for quite a while, and they have actually the house right next door to me. They brought a dog in. They found drugs. Those people have now moved. We've had other neighbors who have had drug problems. Um, just recently, there was uh, a house straight across from me where the police officers came. They, the, the residents were smoking pot inside the car. You have made any false reports? She alleges you've no, made sir. false police reports. I have no time for doing All that. All right. Carry a taser? I have a taser for personal pr Protection. I would never use a taser against any animal. I love all animals, yeah, all You dogs. live in a very bad neighborhood. <laughs> you gotta walk around with tasers. Your apartment building is drug infested. You can't move? I don't walk around the neighborhood with a taser. I have a taser. Oh. I don't walk around the neighborhood with, the with a taser. The taser's for the drug dealers? <laughs> no, sir. Who is the taser for? I take it with me in my car and leave it in my car if oh, okay. I feel threatened. Okay, you get carjacked on the way. See, that's what I'm saying, ma'am. You really need to get out of that neighborhood. <laughs> you really do. All right. You live in a bad neighborhood and you always have to call the police and carry a taser to keep from being carjacked. What else you want me to know? Well, Your Honor, like I said, I'm very heartbroken about the situation. What happened? Tell me what happened. Um, on August 27, 2011, I was walking my dog, Teddy, and I stopped to talk to a neighbor. And Mary came along with her two dogs. She approached us. She was on the sidewalk. I was up by the houses. At that point when she came to approach us, I told her to keep her dog away from my dog because in the past, her dog has attacked my dog. That never happened, And we both had control over the In the past, the when? Tell me when About a her year dog. prior to that, we were walking. Tell and me what met. happened then. They met and... Her dog jumped on my dog instantly and started biting at my dog. And so I pulled my dog apart and she had the leash and she kept control of her dog at that September of 2010. 2010. Correct, And Your Honor. what came of that? Nothing. My dog was fine. But I just, every time I seen her from that point on, I just 
would you avoid her. This never happened. No, she's that making this she's up. She's not. It happened, but not with her you dog. You just told it's, me no. It's it a didn't reverse. Happen. It's a reverse of the dogs. Who, which dog attacked which dog? She has a very small dog. Tell me what happened. It happened on two separate occasions. The first occasion was when I was walking Allie Lou and Samara Sue, my two dogs. Allie is a Pekingese poodle mix, and, and Samara Sue is a Yorkie poodle. She started to come over with her dog. She asked me, are the dogs friendly? I said, yes, they're friendly. And her little dog showed its teeth, started to go after Samara Sue. Allie moved in between the little dog, at Susu, This is in September of 2010? I believe so, Your Honor. Okay. Then the next time was when? It was like six months later when we were All walking. right. What happened then? She was going northbound. I was coming southbound mm -hmm. toward my home. Mm -hmm. And her dog, she was talking to me, and her dog was, again, showing its teeth. And mm -hmm. I said, do you realize your dog is showing her teeth? And she said, oh, she, my dog has a problem. And I said, what's your dog's problem? She said, my dog likes to smell other dogs' butts, but she doesn't like it when they smell hers. Mm -hmm. And I pulled Allie away so there would not be a confrontation on that day. That was the second time <laughs> we had a confrontation. Your Honor, that is not true. <laughs> You said her dog began showing her teeth at your dog. My dog was smelling her dog's butt. Uh -huh. Her dog then starts showing its teeth. And I said, you realize, realize your dog teeth is showing while his while your teeth. dog was behind her? They're like this. One's there and one's going the other direction. Correct. Mine was smelling her dog's butt. Uh -huh. Her dog was facing toward me, uh -huh. showing its teeth. Uh-huh. And I said, you realize your dog is mm -hmm. showing its teeth mm -hmm. again to my dog. Her dog wasn't showing her teeth to your dog. Your dog was behind that dog sniffing his butt. That's what you're telling me. You said, your dog is sniffing her dog's butt, and her dog is grinning. <laughs> Plaintiff Carrie Patnode is suing her neighbor because she claims the defendant's dog attacked her dog and broke her dog's leg. So far, we have Your two incidents. That's enough, <laughs> ma'am. Tell me about the third incident. I was talking to the neighbor, and Mary and her two dogs approached us. She asked the neighbor for a water. The neighbor goes up and gets the water from inside. Mary states that she is going to take that water and go to the park. Instead, she steps into the yard. She goes down, she puts the dog that does not like my dog, the leash, underneath her foot, steps on it, and starts feeding her other dog. She allows that dog, some reason, she lifted up her foot and that dog got loose. Start attacking my dog, and I had my dog on a leash. She had no control over it. The dog kept attacking my dog, biting my dog. I thought she was going to kill my dog. So I lifted my dog up by the leash to put her in my arms, and as I was lifting her up, her dog latched onto my dog's front leg and broke it. And I realized that she was bleeding. I was crying. I was very upset. And her leg was like up inside of her body. And it looked like she was internally bleeding. So I instantly ran home. I called Trinita to take me to the pet hospital. And they put her into like a small surgery to put her leg together. Your Honor, she's and not telling the truth. This, you none went of to this the vet. is it's the, the truth. truth. You went to the vet? None of this is the did truth. Did you go to the vet? No, you're Well, how the uh, hell you know whether she's telling the truth? You, you don't give a damn purpose. about nobody's dog you but your own. You let that dog go loose and hurt my dog. And my dog does not even have that many teeth in her mouth. But you did that on purpose because you have no heart. And you inflicted a lot of pain. My dog had to undergo two surgeries because of this. And you didn't care. You ne never once came to apologize. You never once came to offer any kind of compassion. And never even took responsibility for what you did. For you, you are an owner of a dog, and you are supposed to keep control over your dog at all times, and you did not keep control over your dog. Are you done? You're not telling the truth. I am telling the you truth. Have not told okay, the if I'm not telling the truth, know why what did the cops declare the your dog potentially dangerous? Do you know what happened at no, the vet? No, I was, I was so how saying, do you know she's not sir, telling not the truth about, about don't, that, talking, That's what I was asking you okay, about. Okay, I apologize. That's what she was talking about when you interrupted and said she's not telling the truth. Let me see what you have. What do you say to your dog getting loose, ma'am? My dog was never loose. My dog was never off leash. How did it happen? 
My, I was watering both of my mm -hmm. dogs. I was kneeling down on the grass near the sidewalk. Where were your hands? My, I had my hands on Allie's leash on mm -hmm. the left and Susu's on the mm -hmm. right. I needed to open the bottle of water once the resident came out with mm -hmm. it. I had to put Allie's leash under my uh, knee or foot. I gotcha. don't recall which Negligence. One. Have a good day. You can't put your leash under your knee or under your leg and think that you have control. Dog your claim not... for $3,743 for emotional distress. I don't believe she caused you any. So your claim is dismissed. Yours is granted. Have a good day. Thank you, Your Honor. Well, I wish that she would own up to what she did, and I hope she never inflicts that much pain on any other person or animal again. My dog has never hurt another dog. My dog has never shown aggression toward another dog. Her dog showed its teeth, jumped up on my dog, and two dogs were fighting.